The Syrian international rally has become an integrated and important part of the FIA Middle East Rally Championship. It has witnessed some of the most memorable incidents and victories that have shaped the Middle East Rally Championship since it was admitted into the series in 2001. The organizers of the Syrian International Rally, the Syrian Automobile Club, is made up entirely of Syrians. The rally itself has been widely acknowledged as one of the best in the championship. In a relatively short space of time, the Syrian International has become a key event in the Middle East Championship, but also one of the most popular. Back in 2001, the Syrian International Rally was based in the city of Damascus. The event ran to Palmyra and back. Fittingly, the first ever Syrian International Rally was won by the record-breaking Mohammed bin Salem. The last of the titanic battles between Saudi Abdullah Bakhashab and Mohammed bin Salem took place in Syria. In 2002, this was the last time Bakasha would race here. That year, Abdullah al Qasimi would finish in second in a Ford Focus, while this would be the last time Mohammed bin Salem would compete in the championship. In 2003, the Syrian International Rally would see a new era arrive. Nasser al Atir in a Subaru Impreza World Rally car with the UK co driver Steve Lancaster first appeared. But Alatir's debut performance would not be a winning one. 2003 would see Mohamed Hamsho compete with the well-known co-driver Terry Harriman. Hamsho would hold on to sixth overall by the halfway halt, but more importantly, the continued support of Hamsho International Group would be a major factor in ensuring the future success of the Syrian International Rally. The seventh-seeded UAE's Khalid al Qasimi and Khalid al Kendi in the Mitsubishi Evo 6, the reigning Group N champion, found themselves in contention. That year, Khalid al Qasimi and Khalid al Kendi went on to take the Group N title, while overall victory went to the third seeds Andreas Soloptis and Savas Laos, who won their first ever Middle East rally in a Mitsubishi Evo 6. 2004 would be a sensational year. The 2003 winner, Andreas Soloftis, and the 2003 Middle East champion, Nasser al -Atir, now with the UK's Chris Patterson in Subaru, would face off along with Khalid al Qasimi. The first day was made up of six special stages run to the north of Damascus. Nasser al -Atir and Chris Patterson suffered a series of punctures and dropped back over four minutes. This left the way open for Khalid al-Qasimi and Michael Orr to take the lead in their Subaru Impreza. The finish of the 2004 event in Sednea would see two brothers occupy the two top slots. The fourth seeds of Abdullah al-Qasimi and Gabi Khoury in the Mitsubishi Evo 7 took second, while Khalid al-Qasimi and the UK's Michael Orr took victory overall in the Subaru WRX and went on to win the championship that year. The Syrian International Rally of 2005 would again mark a turning point in Middle East rallying history. The start in Damascus would see the 2004 Syrian International winner, reigning champion Khalid al-Qasimi with the UK's Nikki Beach leave as the top seeds. However, the second seeded Nasser al atir and Chris Patterson came out fighting. The 2003 Middle East champion moved into a lead by the end of the first day, some 57 seconds ahead. Beginning in third, Abdullah al Qasimi and Steve Lancaster in a Mitsubishi Evo 8 dropped to equal fourth by the end of the first leg. While the highest seeded Syrian, Haitham al Yusufi, with Qatari Adel Hussein in a Super Impreza, briefly held on to the lead in the early stages but eventually went on to finish the first leg in fifth overall. The 2005 event would be a defining point in the Middle East Rally Championship. Nasser al atir and Chris Patterson in a Subaru Impreza would take victory that year for the first time in Syria and go on to win the overall championship that year. After the historic win back in 2005, the Syrian International Rally became the territory of Nasser al atir and Chris Patterson. 
The team went on to record victories in several world championship events and won the Middle East Championship that year. The Qatari's driver career became not just regional, but also worldwide. In 2008, the Syrian International Rally saw 32 competitors from 11 countries cross the start line. The rally was now traditionally centered around Sednea. Qatari Nasser al Atir and Chris Patterson, the reigning Middle East champions, were leading the 2008 series at this point. The top seed set the fastest time in all but one of the day's first stages. The UAE's Abdullah al Qasmi would start in second. The former Middle East Group N champion, though, would come under pressure. Omani, Nizar Shanfari, who returned to rallying in 2008, proved he had lost none of his talent, finishing the event in fourth overall, while the highest Syrian to finish that year would be Mohamed Hamsho, with the UK's Steve Lancaster in a Subaru Impreza. Back at the Sheraton Sednea Hotel, Qatari Misfa al Mari and Adl Hussein took third their best ever finish in Syria, while Abdullah al Qasimi with Fred Cosentas claimed second. The top seeds Nasser al Atir and Chris Patterson, though, took their second victory in the 2008 championship. Al Atir would once again win the overall championship that year. <laughs> A new chapter arrived with the 2009 Syrian International. The event would witness high drama, resulting in the first win of the championship round for one driver and a new leader of the series overall. With Nasser al Atir unable to contest this event, nor Sheikh Khalid al Qasimi, first and third respectively in the series, it was a gloves off affair as the competitors vied for honours. In a Peugeot S2000 car, Saudi Yazid al Raji, with Frenchman Matthew Baumel, was the surprise of this event. Raji moved quickly into the lead and never looked back. At the end of the first day, despite several punctures, the Saudi held onto a lead of 1 minute and 20 seconds. Qatari Mubarak al Hajri and Adel Hussein would climb several places from the seventh seeding, occupying second at the end of the first leg. While local honor was upheld by Syrian Haitham al Yusufi, seeded fifth with the experienced Yusuf Asma, Yusufi would finish a credible fifth. Mesfa al Murray, after dropping to 11th, made a massive charge back up the field, incredibly up into second. The sensational drive would earn Mesfa al Murray enough points to move him into the lead of the overall series in 2009. Back at the Sheraton Setnea, Barak al Hadri and Adel Hussein claimed their best ever result, third, while Mesfa al Murray and Chris Patterson would finish second for the second time in two events. But going into the record books as the first Saudi driver to win a round of the championship since Abdullah Bakashab in the 1990s, Yazid al Raji and Matthew Bomel won the Syrian rally by a staggering three minutes and 58 seconds and in doing so moved into third overall in the 2009 championship. The 2010 Middle East Rally Championship is proving to be one of the most unpredictable for many years. The series kicked off in Qatar, the event made up of 14 entirely new stages, 32 of the region's top teams would start. However, Yazid al Raji and Frenchman Matthew Baumel would be one of the first high-profile retirees. In a Ford Fiesta, Nasser al Atir and Giovanni Bernaccini led the early part of the rally. But it was not all plain sailing. A puncture dropped the top seeds into second in the early part of the final day. Misfa al Murray, on his first drive with Nicola Arena, slipped down the leaderboard in the first day. The Qatari Italian duo, though, would move back later as many of the front runners succumbed to the deteriorating conditions of the track. The 1993 Middle East champion Qatari Hamad Al Thani, along with Arif Yusuf of the UAE, would climb from eighth at the start of the second day to claim third overall, while Jordanian Amjad Farah with Nancy Majali would be the fourth championship registered driver to finish. At the end of the opening 2010 round, Hamad Al Thani and Yusuf Arif took third, Misfa Al Murray and Nicola Arena in second overall but making it a 1-2-3 for Qatari drivers, Nasser al Atir and co-driver Giovanni Bernaccini took victory overall. 
Kuwait, reinstated into the Middle East Rally Championship in 2009, was the venue for the second round of the 2010 season. The reigning champion, Al Atiyah, would be unable to contest this rally. After the top-seeded Qatari Misfa Al Murray retired with a blown engine, it was the second-seeded Khalid Al Qasimi and Michael Orr in a Ford S2000 who had won the opening stage, who controlled the proceedings. A puncture just before the halfway halt dropped Qasimi's lead to just seven seconds, though. Yazid Al Raji and Matthew Bommel climbed into second, but the Saudi retired in the penultimate stage. The Skoda S2000 of Rashid Al Ketbi had set impressive times, and the fourth seeds held on to second position at the end of the first leg. Just seven seconds separated this team from the leader. After the engine in his rally car gave up in practice, Qatar's Khalid Al Sawadi and Nikki Beach drove for the most part a careful rally, but found themselves up in the points while Isam al-Najadi and Anwar al-Shara would finish as the best-placed local competitors in sixth. Hamad al-Thani and Araf Yusuf would once again finish well, completing the Kuwait event in fifth. The points here helped move Hamad al-Thani into equal first in the overall series. The Kuwait International saw just 16 of the 27 starters finish. Khalid al-Sawadi and Nikki Beach took their first podium finish in 2010 third in their recce car. Rashid al Ketbi and Khalid al Kendi in the Skoda S2000 finished in second, bringing them up into equal fourth overall in the championship, just two points adrift of the three drivers sharing top position. Khalid al Qasimi and Michael Orr took victory in Kuwait, the result bringing them into equal first in the championship with Qatar's Nasser al Atiyah and Hamid al Thani. <laughs> After the 2010 Jordan Rally, the Middle East Rally Championship would look very different. All the main championship contenders had entered this rally, which would be made up of 14 stages. Nasser al and Giovanni Bernaccini, now in a Skoda S2000, led early on, but a broken throttle cable dropped the reigning champions back many places. al would finish as the third registered driver with just 16 points after the Jordan Rally, he remained in joint first after this event. Winners of the Kuwait International, Khalid al Qasimi and Michael Orr moved into the lead at the end of the first day, but the UAE driver would be forced to retire with a faulty alternator in the final leg. Second in the Kuwait International Rally, Rashid al Ketbi and Khalid al Kendi would retire in Jordan after the brakes failed in their Skoda while Hamid Al Thani and Araf Yusuf, who were jointly leading the championship before this event, would also fail to finish. It would be Saudi Yazid Al Raji and Matthew Bommel who would claim maximum points in Jordan. Misfa Al Murray and Nicola Arena, who failed to finish the Kuwait rally, would go on to complete this event in second, the eight points helping them to move into joint first overall in the championship with Nasser Al Atiyah. At the end of the day, Saudi Yazid Al Raji and Matthew Bommel recorded their first ever victory in 2010 in Jordan and in doing so moved into third place in the overall championship. The fourth round of the Middle East Rally Championship, the Saudi Eastern Rally, was included in the series for the first time in 2010. Due to restricted travel because of the Icelandic volcano, many of the competitors were unable to compete in this event, including Nasser al Atiyah and Giovanni Bernaccini. Seeded third, Yazid Al Raji and Matthew Bommel, fresh from their win in Jordan and on home territory, Al Raji took the lead from the start of the event, establishing a gap of just 50 seconds at the end of the first day. Winner of the second round of the championship in Kuwait, Khalid Al-Kasmi with Wail Marjan would meet with disaster in the first leg. A broken windscreen dropped the former champion from contention. Kasmi retired at the end of the first day. Qatari Khalid al Sawadi with Marwan Musaba. Sawadi finished in seventh overall, but as the fourth registered championship driver, keeping him in fifth place in the overall series. While Hamad Al Thani and Araf Yusuf, who were in equal first in the championship after Kuwait, finished as the fifth championship team, keeping them in fourth in the